So Spencer, while I edited videos, he graciously said he would go do the laundry. He's a great husband, except for the fact that the laundry is right there. Which leads me to believe that he is actually going to boat shop. There's a list. Find a boat. Short list all the boats we find. Negotiate price. Seal the deal. Give all our money away. Sail away. Ready? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Vancouver Marina. Okay, it's above Richmond, or it's on Richmond. Okay. It's right off of Sea Island Way. game plan, we got a list of places, we got a map of places, I think we're ready to go. It's a boot to get fun guys! <laughs> For sale, boats for sale. Easier for you if you want to sign in, just pick up okay. Off the okay. Hi, how are you? Can I walk around and look, or is that do I need to sign in? Great, the key. Yeah, she's like, Oh, if you just give me your phone number, I was like, One, two, three, four, five, seven, five, four, two, one. Damn it, too many numbers. <laughs> First sailboat that's for sale. Not exactly our style, but still. We have found a boat for sale. We know that they exist. <laughs> there it is. Sora. That's the one I was excited to see. Wow. I really like it. I know. Oh man, I really like it. Making sandwiches and packing snacks because we're headed to Vancouver to look at Sora with the broker. And we didn't let the broker know that we've already looked at it because we don't want him to think that we're that interested. But we have, but we're very excited about it. So you're playing this one close to the chest? Yeah. Nice. Definitely. Don't want to let him know anything. Yeah, keep them in the dark. Yeah, the last, uh, the, when we have dealt with brokers, we have realized that uh, they tend to play both sides. And because we have bought and sold three boats before, we would like to take that lesson and use it this time. <laughs> and I mean, not really let them know anything and know any of our plans or what our budget is or anything just because uh, they tend to... I have too much information. Are you going to eat the peanut butter and jelly sandwich in front of them to show that you're on a budget? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get the inner stage removed. Where would it attach you down there? I don't see it. That's well, a good question. You know, uh, I have glanced at that myself. You know? I was looking at it right here. Is yeah, a spot? Well, possibly. Is that, yeah. is that a spot? Yeah, it's a spot. Oh, he's got a dehumidifier in here. That's nice. Do you want to come down here and look? Or are you still... Did they get the whole drive line when they um, refit it in 2003? Like, prop transmission, all that? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, 
here is the ad for the boat we're about to look at. Let's go see if it looks the same in person. We're gonna get a boat to look at a boat. Yeah. <laughs> That's indicative of deck rot. Soft ass. Ooh, whoa, it's really soft right there. Okay. Wow. Smells like a boat. Super interested in trimarans, but hey. Mike. They're both Mike. Yeah. That couple that had the solid buyer from Texas for their boat just yeah. emailed me and said that it fell through. So now oh. we have another candidate. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's good because that gives us a, two options at least, or I mean, yeah. that we know. No, we think it's a nice options. comp. Yeah, that's great. So when do you want to go look at that? I can go tomorrow. But unfortunately, it's in like the middle of DC, so we got to take like planes, trains, cars, subways, submarines, Ferry. bicycles, ferries. Yeah. Yeah, I think to get there, it's going to be a little bit of a trick. Yeah, and an investment. Yeah. Yay, boat shopping. So this is the boat that Spencer is most excited about, in my mind, I guess. Yeah. I could be wrong. Well. I think it offers the most package. And I'm most excited about Sora. Ooh. So, in here we're going to do point. Yep. Morning. Perfect, thank, thank you. You, you, you too. too. Uh, morning fries. We got up at 3.30 in the morning to do a six hour trip to go see a boat and Powell River. I don't know what the hell we're doing. We had a little tiff about it last night because I really love Sora, but I know the top decks are spongy, which Spencer is not a fan of. Which I shouldn't, I'm not a fan of either. No, she loves spongy top decks. No. And Spencer really wants to go look at this boat called Swamp Angel. Yep. I mean, after our little tiff, I, we both came to the conclusion that it's good that we're going. We yeah. have to see other boats. And I think it's it's not sold by a broker, so the owners will be really knowledgeable about it, and I'm actually really excited to see. Swamp Angel. Swamp Angel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's 4.46 right now. We drive onto the ferry around 5.15, and 
then I think it's a two hour trip. Then we drive two hours across the Vancouver Island to another ferry in Comox, and then we take that ferry to Powell River. And then Jorge picks us up in his truck. Then we spend six hours on Powell River, or at Powell River. Yep. And then we take the ferry back to the island to where then we get on another ferry, and then we take that drive. back. No, <laughs> oh yeah, two hour drive. <laughs> then we get on that ferry, take that ferry back to where we are right now, <clears> and then we drive home in for an hour. Yeah, we got to try to tell customs why we we're at Powell River for seven hours. Yeah. For pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if we were to buy this boat, the logistics of getting on it would be insane. Although having bought boats in three ridiculous locations, it's been our experience. The more logistically difficult it is to get to the boat, the better the deal. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. You said you wanted to go on a trip. You said you wanted to go on an adventure. You said you didn't want to work anymore. This is what you get. Well, we went to the ferry terminal and they are indeed closed for the night. Last sailing Saturday, 5.45 p.m. First sailing Sunday, 10.15 a.m. I guess we can get some fun tries and gravy for breakfast. Why didn't we look at the except one parts? So we got two options. What? We can either stack everything up so we can lean the seats back, or we can stack everything on one side and have like a sleeping thing in the back. I think we should just lean the seats back. Okay. <laughs> Morning fries. What's up? Hey. Fran's looking good for sleeping in the car last night. Spirits are high. Thanks. Yep. That's nice, nice hair. Thank you. Spirit, yeah, I'm really tired. I don't know if spirits are high. Cats can be pissed. They're tenuous. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. We're uh, revitalized on our boat hunt. I have some new bad ideas I want to get into. Yeah, three new options. Crappy boat, crappy driver, and <laughs> nice boat. <laughs> hey guys, we just got back from our extended uh, boat tour on the ferries of Canada. We're excited to keep looking at boats. These kind of zonked out. If you like our videos, like it, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks.